Okay, hey guys, I know it's been a while since you've seen me. Um, I have been going through a lot recently, um, and I'm very sick also, but um, I'm still a little bit sick, and I'm in a good mood, and I wanted to make a video because I really love psych to go and here we go. Here are six crazy findings about sex. Okay, I'm going with the whole, like, reading off, like, what I wrote because I don't want to leave anything out. Um, I'm going back and watching some of my videos and being like, oh god, I forgot to say this. I mean, it's not really, like, important stuff, but it's, like, little things that I wrote that I thought would be good to add. Um, so I'm trying it. I'm trying it. Work with me. Work with me, people. All right, here we go. Here are six crazy findings about sex. First one, uh, was your grandma angelic or nasty? Did you ever think that your, well, the generation before us was so pure and innocent and virtuous, but did you know that more than 90% of Americans from the previous generation have had premarital sex or participated in some sort of crazy kink or fetish or whatever you want to call it, like, I don't even know if I'm allowed to use those words, but um, it has been proven and, you know, it's not really, like, legitimate research because it's kind of just real what we call reality real wow wish I could speak English reality check research because everyone nowadays has um, premarital sex it's not really seen as like unholy and devil child devil child if you do have premarital sex okay now this one's um I mean it's I guess it's a little strange um people on the upper end lower end of like the intelligence spectrum uh, tend to have less sex like the people on the lower end don't really have a lot of sex because they don't have like game I'm not smart enough to have game and the people on the upper end are too focused on staying smart to really have sex and god I'm sweating right now good lord okay and um according this is number uh, three three according to research done by yourtango.com um more than 15 percent of men are more prone to discussing their sex lives on Twitter or Facebook as opposed to women who only discuss their sex lives on Twitter or Facebook, like 6% of them. Okay, now there was um, a study done and it said that couples who utilize condoms say that they value their relationship less than those who use oral contraceptives. This study was done three times and brought up the same results. Do you agree? Let us know in the comments below. Four, yeah, this is five. Um, this is actually a very, very important one, so listen up. Um, porn does not necessarily yield or increase uh, sex crimes and sex addicts, according to the International Journal of Law and Psychiatry. They say that they found no significant, and this is quoting, no significant association between early exposure to pornography and high sexual compulsivity, either among men or women. That is crazy, crazy, because that kind of disproves a lot of cases about sex crimes out there. This one's very, very sad, and um, because I've had a, it's gonna be about a broken heart. Um, I've had a broken heart before, and I mean, I didn't think that this was actually a real thing, and it kind of made it, it made it seem all real to me, and brought it all back, and ooh, it's all coming back to me now. But anyway, um, basically saying that even though the percentage is you know very small there is a chance that doctors their well doctors have coined the term uh, broken heart syndrome is actually a factual medical condition and that over two percent of all heart attacks have been directly correlated to suffering from a broken heart basically um a broken heart is not purely mental it has several physical uh, qualities as well where the blood um, blood well, blood not like blood count but the, the pumping of the blood is so slow in your heart that it causes uh, heart failure okay so there you guys go there are six crazy facts about sex and you can watch these with the family over Thanksgiving um, I hope you all enjoyed and you'll be seeing more videos very very soon we've been off the track lately with um, some videos especially for me um, I've had a lot going on and I've been very sick but I'm working on some big stuff for you guys and I can't wait for you to see it so see you guys next time bye gobble gobble